Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. I'm Expat Jimmy and today I've got something truly special for you. We're here in beautiful Korea at our unique orchard and I'm going to share a tour of some of our exotic fruits and vegetables that we're growing. As an Australian, it's fascinating to see these plants thriving in. Let's dive in and explore. is a little slice of heaven filled with a variety of plants that thrive in this unique setting. As you can see, we have a diverse range of fruits and vegetables growing here. But today, we're focusing on some that are particularly special. First up, we have chestnuts. These trees produce nuts that not are only delicious, but they are packed with nutrients. They grow well here in Korea with a lot of sunlight and well-drained soil. Chestnuts are great for roasting and steaming, but they are also a staple in many traditional Korean dishes. Look at these spikes on here. They're not ready for harvest yet, but when they are, do not touch them with bare hands. These spikes will cut you, make you bleed, and you'll be sore for days, trust me. I know. Next up we have persimmons. These bright orange fruits are a real treat. They're not bright orange now because they're not ripe. It's not the right time. But these are actually really easy to take care of. All you need is some sunlight, which we got plenty of here. They don't really require much pruning. Only if they don't, if they don't produce a lot of fruit one year, it just means that in winter the next in that season you have to give it a good prune bag and then next spring they'll get so much new wood on it because these fruit only on the new wood so this is new wood here and that's why we got fruit here unlike plum trees where they only grow fruit on the old wood so these are completely different to plum trees and then once they're ripe these ones are there's two different persimmon varieties these ones are the ones that are ripe when they're still hard but they're orange and they'll be super astringent if they're not ripe I really like to put them in the freezer and then in summer on a hot day like today get them out the freezer and just eat them like a sorbet really nice but you can also add them into salads and desserts or you can just eat them pretty much by themselves like an apple when they're ready these ones still got a couple more weeks on them and then they'll be ready to harvest check out our loofah plants these might surprise you they aren't just for the bar when they're young they're tender and can be cooked just like zucchini. They need warmth and a sturdy trellis to grow on, just like our dead plum tree here. And have a look at the size of these fruits. Some are longer than my arm, and the vine is so heavy that it's knocked over some of these branches that are on here. They have a beautiful yellow flower. It's got a nice light scent to it. Mm. And underneath we've got the butternut pumpkin growing which is a very familiar common plant. And these are Korean melons, known as chumwe. Our variety is the apple chumwe, or the apple Korean melon. These have a different color. The usual color is a yellow, but Korean melons like hot sun and a long growing season. And they make an incredible snack on a hot day just like today. I'm absolutely sweating out here. It's 32 degrees Celsius, high humidity in the middle of summer, making these videos for you guys. Please, if you've watched this far, guys, give me a like. If you haven't subscribed yet, it doesn't take much just to hit that button, hit subscribe. You don't have to put your bell notification on. But if you want to see my next videos, make sure you hit that bell notification and you'll always be reminded when I upload new videos. 
And we also got some bonus plants for you guys. This is corn, which is a regular plant, but here in Korea, sweet corn isn't the common corn. It's this waxy, chewy corn. So this is our five color corn, and it's just not visually pleasing. It is actually tasty. So we like to steam it. These are a little bit old harvest. We're actually saving these ones for the seeds for next year. But this is what they look like. This is the five colored corn. This is chewy. And this corn, if you haven't seen my last video on the orchard tour, click up here, watch it. You'll see these were just planted. They were just small. This is the five colored corn. And down here, we've got the two colored corn. They feel like they're ready. plant with this so this variety is more of a purple this should be two colored corn it's got a few uh, spots on the, those corn as well but this is also chewy now we're going to steam this one up tonight and eat it really delicious really good to sit in front of netflix watch a movie with some chewy corn And over here we have our long thin eggplants they're ideal for grilling and, st and stir fries with a tender texture and a mild flavor these are the most common eggplant you'll find here in south korea the big regular eggplants or aubergine that we get at overseas in australia and america and europe we never see them here in korea this is just the standard eggplant of korea and these are actually really nice i do really like these personal favorite to keep our plants healthy, we use a few special techniques here on our orchard. So we are free of pesticide, free of herbicide, and free of fertilizers. We do use some Jadam organic fertilizer, which is a Korean method. So pretty much like for the plums here, for instance, we get the old plum leaves and the fruit, and we put it into a big bucket with water, and we let it break down with some natural leaf mold from the mountains up here. and after about one year when it's broken down, we dilute it down with some water and we water the trees and we got one for tomatoes, we got one for cucumbers, we got one for eggplants, like that, it's really good. Another thing that we employ here is that we don't, I said we don't have any herbicides, so the weeds all grow together. We got different kind of weeds growing here. We got some mugwort, we got chickpeas over there. And believe it or not, in these hot days where it's 35 degrees outside, even though the leaves might be wilting underneath because of all the weeds and greenery we that got here the soil is actually quite moist if i dig into the soil here it'll be quite moist and another one a lot of people put out are these fly catchers and these in here is totally organic it's not even a vinegar this is homemade kombucha that i put in here it's dried up a fair bit but you can see in here there's a couple of insect larvae and stuff so this is really good at getting rid of some of those pests and insects that eat our leaves and our plum trees. Mmm, absolutely delicious. This is the corn we just picked up there. I just put it in the rice cooker for 40 minutes, steamed it up. I forgot to mention before, chewy corn is nowhere near its sweet. A super sweet corn that we're used to. Super sweet corn was introduced growing in Korea in 1990. We grew it last year and this year I wanted to try, try more Korean kind of food so this year we got the chewy corn next year we're going to go back and have some super sweet corn but this is actually really good. We hope you enjoyed this tour of our orchard here in Korea and got a glimpse of the amazing food that we're growing. 
If you're inspired to grow some exotic plants in your own garden, let us know in the comments. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you'll never miss an update. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Annyeong!